I'm gonna show you exactly what I buy and what I make on a weekly basis for a plant-based diet. Let's go. Switching from a normal diet, such as an omnivore diet, to a predominantly whole foods, plant-based diet can seem intimidating, and I do get that. You might think that it's only salads, but I'm here to show you that it is not. This video might also be helpful to someone who is just starting out on a plant-based diet. A common misconception is that it is very labor intensive. And to that, my answer is planning and food prep. In the beginning of the week, for me, that is a Sunday, I decide what we are going to eat throughout the week. I make a long list of all the things we're going to need and I go grocery shopping. This allows me to save time by doing one trip instead of going multiple smaller times and buy in bulk, which is usually cheaper. On a Sunday, I might do a bit of food prep depending on how busy the week ahead is. This includes making lemon juice, maybe making a snack such as hummus and chopping veg that I store in the fridge for when I need them. Our meal plan runs from a Monday through to a Thursday. That way we can have dinners outside the house during the weekend or maybe catch up with friends. This is just the way it works for us, but really play around with your program and see what works best for you. Therefore, in this video, you'll see the meal planning for four full days. In the evenings, I make enough food for the following afternoon as well, so we can either pack a lunchbox or have a plate of food ready in the fridge. Okay, we're done. Let's go home and unpack. Cool, everything is packed out. Um, they didn't have organic spinach, unfortunately, so I got the baby spinach. But I find that organic bigger spinach tastes exactly the same as baby spinach, just so you know. I've got some lemons, limes, um, sourdough bread, some mushrooms. Oh my gosh, ignore the drilling. Normal potatoes, mushrooms, lots of sweet potatoes, some fresh basil leaves, red onions, um, lentils. I wanted to buy green lentils as well, but then I just opted in for the soup mix because I'm going to make a big veggie soup this week. White quinoa, I've got some chocolate over there. It is um, a vegan bar and it's got very um, little sugar in it, which is great. Some carrots, already mentioned the potatoes, celery, um, I mentioned the carrots. I've got these beautiful teas, they are caffeine, naturally caffeine free. I really like to drink this one throughout the day and then this one I drink at night because it's got um, chamomile and lavender in it, so that's quite nice. I've got some pasta, parsley and a bit of cans, they were out of organic um, cans so I only bought like a few of these because I have some in my um, cupboards and then some plant-based milks again very excited for the food this week mm -hmm. 
So every Sunday I do the same, a little bit of food prep. Um, I usually do a bit of lemon juice that I prepare because I use it in most of my meals. And I have it in the morning with some hot water as well, um, instead of a second or a third cup of coffee. So that's really good. And because my blender was already dirty, I just decided to make a bit of hummus because my brother is staying with us this week and he eats a lot. So I decided to use the dirty blender full of lemon juice and threw in some chickpeas and made hummus. If you don't know how to make hummus, I'll have a link down below because I do have a video on that, on classic hummus as well as beetroot hummus. It is perfect, perfect for out, throughout the week. I keep it in a big bowl like this one and anyone who's snackish can help themselves to it throughout the week. We started our week with a berry and seed oats. I love using a big variety of different seeds on top and I use the berry medley which is three different berries. This is plain oats. I mix in the frozen berries until it's completely defrosted and then when it's done I finish it off with loads of different seeds on top of it. I cook food for my grandmother during the COVID crisis and I just put it in these plastic bowls and pop it in the freezer for her until I have enough to deliver. You can do the same if that's easier for you to cook ahead. The rest of the oats I put into this white bowl and we're gonna have it the next morning. This soup is jam-packed with loads of beautiful vegetables, lentils and the barley mix that I bought. It stores extremely well in the fridge as well as the freezer. So this is something great to make ahead of time or to make a big batch of and just keep it in your freezer or fridge. It makes great leftovers. We had this with some sourdough bread on the side. This is the same oats we had yesterday and it was still super good on day two. This is the most amazing creamy veg pasta I've ever ever had. The base sauce is made out of cashews and oat milk. I just use oats and water that also creates oat milk. Some lemon juice and tamari and oh my goodness it is so yummy it's also got some nutritional yeast in there that gives it like a nice cheesy flavor and there's loads of different vegetables in it including basil celery onion garlic mushrooms peas and spinach it's quite simple the sauce is made separately in a blender and all of the veg goes into a big pan I finally added loads of spinach and just popped it up, up top and I am placing the lid on top to get it to wilt properly. After it wilted, I added the sauce and gave it a good mix through. On the side, the pasta was cooking and you just top the pasta with the sauce up top. This makes a lovely, healthy pasta dish. On the third morning, it was time to make a new oats. I used steel cut oats and I added in all of the seeds you've seen before and had a little bit of a different fruit combination with some frozen organic bananas as well as frozen raspberries that I added. Again, the oats is cooked as usual, but steel cut oats do take a little bit longer to cook, so just take that into consideration. I added in the frozen bananas quite early and let that cook with the oats, so it can become really creamy and almost mushy. And then finally at the end, I added in the frozen raspberries and I topped it up with seeds up top. It was a great breakfast. Again, I made enough for the following day. In the afternoon, I had some rice cakes with hummus up top and I had some of the orange chocolate and I dipped it into my tea as usual. 
For dinner, we had a simple chickpea and avocado salad with parsley and red onions in it. On the side, we had some roasted potatoes with lots of apple cider vinegar and salt. They are so freaking good. A very good replacement for salt and vinegar chips. In the evening, we had a bit of a treat. I made us hot cocoa on the stove with some almond milk, maple syrup and vanilla pod. It was so extremely yummy. Most mornings, we start our day with a cup of coffee and almond milk in bed and it's a nice time to just catch up and chat about the day ahead. For this morning, we had a smoothie and avo toast. In the smoothie, I combined spinach, oats, almond milk, frozen berries, a little bit of a butter, such as almond butter or peanut butter or whatever you like. And I included some seeds in the smoothie as well. Quite simple, but lovely. This is probably one of my favorite plant-based recipes. It's got a beautiful base of edamame beans, butter beans, um, almond butter and lemon juice. It's a lovely, lovely dip. I actually have a video on that that I'll have linked down below. And up top is a combination of sweet potatoes and dates that goes into the oven with loads of different spices. It is so extremely good. Let me know if you want to see a video of how I transitioned into a whole foods plant-based diet. And then in summary, my final tips for this video. One, always change up your menu. Don't always make the same thing week after week. Two, always eat as unprocessed as possible. Three, incorporate fruits, vegetables, grains, and legumes in every single day. That way you're going to get a well-balanced amount of micro and macro nutrients. That is all for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more sustainable fashion and plant-based food. Hope to see you here next time. Cheers guys.